real quick here because low budget. I don't have. Oh my God. I got a follow. Are we gonna get mic'd up? <laughs> I got them if you want that. to. Yeah. No. But I think we'll be fine as long as y'all stay close to me there. Okay. So make sure this. That's all right. Done. My fever's broke. I think I don't think I'm contagious. Are you really? Yeah. You're all, you're all done. <laughs> I'll just carry it back home. Can you kneel down a little bit so we don't look short? How about that? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, what's up, here? I'm Bob Goodson. I'm with Mark Lamaskin of Performance Auto Sport and Colin Comer of Collins Classic Auto. And we're here at the uh, Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals. I have to say that slowly yes. because it's something that I'm not used to saying a lot but I'm sure Colin is, because he helps with the show on. But they have organized a Celine display, and it's the majority of it's Fox Mustangs. You have a car here, you have a car here. I just really want to know what brought this all about. Like, what was it that made you want to bring this among all of the cars that are here? Because there's a lot of really big iron. Yeah. So what what made you want to do this, Colin? Did well, get Mark um, yeah, so I'm one of the members of the McCacken LLC, which puts on Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals. And uh, this is our 15th year, our 14th show because of a little pandemic thing. Uh, but uh, you know, I try to come up with a special display, you know, idea now and again. We've done Cobras, we've done a, a Shelby Snake Pit, you know, interesting stuff that I'm into. You're right. Um, so I have uh, six other members that we talk about the show all year long, and I said, you know, I want to do a Celine display, you know, Fox Body Celines, because we did a. Uh, class last year with more modern cars and Malaysia era cars, 70s cars, and I said, let's move up into the 80s and get some Fox Body Celines in here. And, uh, you know, the other members, they're really old, they're really kind of ancient <laughs> guys, and they're kind of stuck in the past, and, you know, they want, oh, we want 57 Chevys. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, you want to, I'll edit that out yeah, so they don't get offended. <laughs> yeah, got, no, don't edit, I want them to be offended. You want them to be <laughs> You have to interject some new blood and get new people to know what this show is. Yeah, but I mean, so, the, right. but the collector car world where it's going and where all the, I mean, there's a lot of excitement around Celine cars. And I think that these, you know, Fox Buddy cars are the 65, 66 Shelby GT350s of our generation. You know, he's got a lot of gray hair. I got more and more. It's a race between being bald and being gray, but I'm yep. getting there. Hey, 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 bald? Yeah. Come on. No, no, you didn't no, no, say no, that. No, no, no. <laughs> no, but I thought, you know, this is, we're really passionate about this, and a lot of other people are, and this is so much, it's a, such a low production car. To bring awareness. To bring awareness to it and get the cars out here. So, of course, once the other guys agreed that, okay, we can have some Fox Body Mustangs in here, uh, I thought, well, what better way to put together the display than to call... Mark Lamaskin and tell him, hey, guess what? You got a job that doesn't pay anything. You got to get a bunch of cars together. And you got to pay to ship your car here. <laughs> you got to pay to ship your car right. here. You got to buy your hotel room, right. air, airfare, and then right. you got to buy all your meals. Yep. And, uh, and then go to the casino and lose money, but that was my choice. Right. Yeah. But when you're independently wealthy, you know. It, it's just one of those things that doesn't matter. <laughs> his pilot's been hanging out in Chicago yeah. all week, and it's great. Yeah, having to refuel that jet was expensive here compared yeah. to at home. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Definitely. No, but I think what, what became of it, you know, all of a sudden. It, it, you know, it's Mark, it's Mike Charles, it's Lance Miller. And I don't know about you, but everybody I called about it, they're like, I'm in. Everybody was very excited, and, and I really kind of felt stupid when you said something about the show, and I was like, what is the show? Yeah. Because it is a different generation of collectors, and it's important to break that mold because these guys are all getting older, and if we don't bring some Dang. newer, more exciting stuff in, I said all of them, we, um, then we have to interject some new life into it and have people appreciate that there are cars past what they're used to seeing. Right. And this show was founded on being the best of the best. Like, it, there, there are no average yes. cars in here. No. It has None. to be the best of the best. I mean, we have Le Mans Sebring winning Corvettes up front. We have GT40 prototypes. Um, I mean, you walk Six here. Boss 9s yeah, that I, I counted, mean, and I'm sure there's more in other places, but six 429 yeah. Mustangs here. And all unbelievable. I mean, you right. look at one and say, this has got to be the nicest one in the world. And then you look over and there's another yeah. one that's just as nice. And you can't swing a dead cab without hitting a heavy no. car, right. a six pack car, a Ram Air 4, you know, 69 Ram Air 4 Trans Ams and Firebirds. So, I mean, that was the whole thing. This show is the Pebble Beach of muscle cars. And that was our original intent when we started this show. Was It's not just a car show, it's not a cruise night. It's the best of the best. Right. So, we want to. Celine's in here that are the best of the best, you know, that kind of paint a picture and a story. Mm -hmm. But to be at this show is, you know, tremendous. Yeah, I mean, yeah, unbelievable acceptance for us to even be invited to do this, much less 
what the people have said and looked and, and the people are stopping and looking and taking pictures and asking questions, what is this? What's the importance of this car? Which really, really is nice because it means that the Salines have stepped up to the next generation of collectability and awareness. Yeah. And it's because of Colin. Well, that, you know? that, I'm just following your footsteps because, it, and you know, when I wanted to buy my first Celine Mustang, I was yeah. a kid in high school, I wanted one, I could never afford one. But same got, here. Yeah, same with all of us. I mean, I, I went into a dealership and, and uh, tried to finance an 89 LX5 leader, right. and, and I was successful, but it was like a log rolling competition. I made like right. four payments and I fell off. <laughs> at least, <laughs> at least you were successful in that. I tried and got denied. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, when I wanted a Celine, I, you know, performance auto sport, I called up Mark. So what do you got? And I bought a great car from you, and I thought, this guy's really honest. The next three cars are shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it, it really... You, you kind of blaze the trail here. You brought so much awareness to the cars. You know good cars. You know these cars inside and out. And to have you here kind of being the trail Thank boss you. on this display. Um, but, you know, how many big wing cars do they make? Well, we're finding more and more of them. And, and luckily, Stu Acres has dug up a lot of history on this stuff, too, right. which yeah. is really, really nice. I, I think at this point, it's the mid-20s that they uh, know of. Right. But could be could be more. But that you've got three sequential VIN right. big wing cars here, right. one yeah, of which no, is I, yours. So Yeah, yeah, I brought my, my number 16 car Don't worry, here. guys. We're just shooting the video here. You don't need to worry about jumping into the picture. Sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I didn't know anything about it until I got here, and then all of a sudden, you know, the, the Celine But neither did we. Here. They surprised us with these other two cars because yeah. those were not the cars that we had, you know, suggested that they bring but it's better and we couldn't ask for better cars here Seque sequential vins yeah sold at the same dealership it's crazy and, and then 140 right. fives mm -hmm. right and how many big wing cars and we've got yeah 385s all of them big wing cars all in a row you know we've got s7 we've got the race cars um, it's a great display car. we've got a coupe down there we got a car that we're not really sure who it belongs to at the end but we it got looks nice that's a door prize <laughs> i think it's, it's, it is. A, 2019, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, it's 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 really great to see in, in a sea of all these rare '60s and '70s cars, muscle cars, mm -hmm. you know, uh, incredible stuff here. 570 some cars are in this room. Unbelievable cars to look at. Stuff that you would never think that somebody you know could have that would be this nice and restored, and they could find the parts for it. You look at this car, and it literally looks better than it would have been on the showroom floor. No, I agree. It's, it's absolutely incredible. It's pretty incredible what's here. Oh like yeah. Pretty much so. any car in here. If you have a good collection of cars, mm -hmm. or even a great collection of cars, pretty much any car in you could pluck it out. It would be the centerpiece of any collection out there. Oh if yeah. You have a car out here. I mean, the, the barn find section are been certification with these unrestored yes. cars that look showroom new but i mean this is really like i said it's really an honor it's an honor that, that mark helped me set it up that all these guys you know stepped up and, and it, it really says a lot about about Celine guys that community is, is yeah. really important and we we've known each other for years and these guys paid money out of their own pockets to ship their cars here pay for the hotel rooms because they understand the importance of bringing these cars to, for people to see them. And to a show that you guys never heard about until I called you up. Never heard said, of it, which yeah. is crazy. So yeah. now we've got a whole other yes. subset of the collector car hobby that knows about the show. And you'll go home and tell your friends oh, about yeah. it. All these guys are going to tell And the social media, we've posted pictures, and people are like, wow, what is that? Right. And Mike Charles so, is saying, hey, what can I bring next to you? Exactly. Like, well, we don't have a class three, we'll make it a class three. Mm -hmm. So well, look, really an honor. Guys, I really appreciate both of you. And I'm, I'm yeah, honored to like be I'm taller. Let me step on my tiptoes. <laughs> All right, go on, Colin. Get on your tiptoes. Is that better, guys? Is there that we better? go. Is that better? Well, I don't We're have any hair, so that's short. Your head. Are we underneath the light the right way? <laughs> I think so. But look, Colin, thank you, Mark, uh, for all your hard work and working with Colin to get this put together. It's, it's turned out to be a great weekend. And to be at a show where there's 427 Coco Camaros, 427 Vets, like he was saying, Hemi cars, it's unbelievable you got to come and check this out so if you're in the chicago area around this time every year you got at least half a day and you'll spend all day if you do that so thank you guys so much i really appreciate you all thank you see you guys next year Woo!